Hello and welcome back uh, for another tutorial in Unreal Engine 4. Today's episode is all about making a flickering light uh, like you'd see in a horror game or a post-apocalyptic world. So a light that just flickers on a loop. Okay, something very simple, very quick to do. And we're going to go into it now. So the flickering light is an actor, a new type of actor we're going to make. So you go add new, blueprint class, actor. And I'm going to call this one flickering light. Okay. Uh, once that's made, you want to double click to open it up. So here we have a blank actor for our flickering light. So nothing else is on it. Um, and we're going to add some components onto it over here in the component list. So click on add component. And you want to add a uh, point light component and uh, push enter to confirm uh, the name and there it is okay so the point light is a, a light that emits light um, all around it okay so it's demonstrated by this uh, sphere sort of grid so light emits from this point in all directions okay and that's all it does and you can control a lot of things about the light so you can control its intensity the color the attenuation um, so for example if you want to make it a, a a larger light you can change the attenuation up and make it smaller by bringing it down do whatever you like there and you can make it a different light color as well so uh, I can make it a bit more of a warmer color more akin to what you find in real life and a real light bulb um, yeah that's it really so that's the light now uh, a part of the actor click compile and then go into the event graph. Um, I'm just going to begin by deleting all this. Um, it's frustrating to have all that there. Um, so, uh, to make the flickering light, as I said, it's very easy to do and quite quick. All we do is first of all start off with an event. Right click somewhere and you want to type in the event name of begin play. And it, this event triggers as soon as gameplay has begun. So, as soon as this thing's in the world and it's begin playing, this will trigger. Okay, it's right at the start. So this event will trigger and send off this execute, which we can drag off here. And you want to type in add timeline. And I'm going to call mine flickering. Okay. So a timeline changes the value over time. So to do so, double click on it. And you get this new tab come up. And we can add a variety of different tracks here. Uh, based on what kind of value we want to change. So we want to change the light's intensity, okay? This number here. That's what's going to control the flickering, that going up and down rapidly. So that there is a float, and you can tell it's a float because it has a decimal, okay? So a float is a floating point number, meaning that there's a decimal point there. So you want a float track, which is this first one with the F. So click on add float track, and you want to name it. So I'm going to name mine Intensity, like so. And all you do to make the flickering effect is you want to keep the scale on the vertical between 0 and 1. And you want to keep the timeline between 0 and 0.5, ideally. Um, but you can play around with this as much as you like afterwards uh, to get the desired effect you want. So you shift click to add a point onto this graph. And you keep clicking and moving the points around to get a zigzag effect. that do. doesn't have to be uniform, it could be random. That's the quite beauty of it. Uh, you want to make it as random as possible, really. Give that truly uh, intense flickering effect. So, a couple more things we need to do here. Uh, we need to change its length so the timeline by default is five seconds long and we don't want it five seconds because what that will happen is the light will flicker doo -doo 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 -doo, and then we'll stop flickering and stay at this intensity all the way until the end which we don't want so we want the flickering to end after 0.5 of a second so in length we we'll change that to 0 0.5 and it brings this gray area down okay indicating the timeline Excellent. Uh, the last thing we need to do 
is tick the loop tick box. This means this will now loop. Once it starts playing, it will loop until we tell it not to. So click on compile and then return back to the event graph. And you'll see now the intensity track that we added is now as an output on our node. So everything on the right is an output, everything on the left is an input. So this output is an intensity, and that's the one we just made. So this timeline is going to kick out a value over time, and which will be coming out of here. So to make it change the actual intensity of the actual light here, all you have to do is make sure you've got the point light selected in your component list, then drag off of update, and you want to type in the word intensity. And you can see that because we've got point light selected and context sensitive set up, you can see an option saying set intensity and in brackets point light. That's referring to this particular component. So click on that and you get those nodes come up. And you can see we have an option now to plug in our new intensity. However, we can't just plug this straight into here because if you remember rightly on our timeline, our flickering goes between 0 and 1. But if we go to click on the point light, and go to its details panels on the right, the intensity is currently 5000. So one really is quite dim. We want to make sure that we stay around the 5000 mark. So we need to change uh, the value we get out of here uh, slightly before we plug it back in. So drag off intensity and you want to do the asterisk symbol for times and go float times float. And in this bottom box, you want to type in the value 5000 and connect it back up to the new intensity. That means whatever value comes out of here, we'll times it by 5000 and plug it back in. So for example, this first node, so when the timeline hits its first node, this value is 0 0.5 roughly, meaning you get 0 0.5 times 5000, meaning our new intensity will be roughly 2500. Okay, so it'd be half as bright. And it goes to the next uh, point on our graph and so on and so forth. And it'll loop, keep going around. And that is it. Click compile. You can close this now. And you can drag your flickering light into the world. I'll click play. And there's your flickering light. Now if you wanted your light to be more softer and less harsh like this. All you do is go back into your timeline. And where this is only over 0.5 of a second. Just stretch this out. So just drag these out a bit. That's right. Just drag them out. Let's go over two seconds. Let's see if we can do that. So bring that to two, roughly. Drag that out. Now, because you've got more time between each point, the changing of the value will be more gradual giving you a more subtle effect that's softer and not as flickery. Let's drag this a bit more. That'll do. You'll see the point uh, of it. So click compile and close it. Click play. And you can see it's more of a softer uh, flash, flicker. And you can tweak that timeline to suit however you want it to do. Um, it's totally up to you. But that's it. That'll do for this episode. If you have any questions or get stuck with this and uh, have any particular requests you want me to do a video on, just leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and share this video about. And I'll see you next time for another Unreal tut uh, tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.